I'd like to introduce now uh, Joe Kawasaki, the uh, undisputed uh, super middleweight champion of the world. Probably the best fighter to ever come out of the UK, certainly in my time in boxing. A tremendous uh, fighter. He's, he's already got his place down as being the best super middleweight, I think, of all time. Uh, he's here. He's here on business. He's coming to, to win this fight, and I believe he will. Joe Kawasaki. Hi. Um, yeah, it's great to be here. Um, into my 11th year as a world champion, I finally have arrived in, the, in America. Um, at the end of last year, I had to wait up and see you know, what else is it for me to achieve. Um, after being Mako Kessler, becoming an undisputed champion, world champion for over 10 years, like I said, the obvious fight there was to fight light heavyweight, and who else to fight than Leonard Hopkins? You know, he was. Uh, Champion for nearly 10 years himself in middleweight. So um, I think I'm just going to say I proved the world what a champion's all about. And I was traveling. It's the first time to come fight in America. It's the first time in a new way. But it's a, it's a test I'm relishing. I'm a tremendously confident. Um, ben has lost a few times, but he's never been stopped. So um, that's something I honestly believe I'm going to do on Saturday night. Basically, I'm punching tremendously hard. Fitness and everything is, is, uh, is amazing, and uh, I'm just so excited. I'm just uh, I'm so excited, and it's going to be a treat. He's got two great fighters fighting on Saturday night, and as you know, we both don't like to take a backward step, so it's going to be a hell of a fight. So I'm going to do my talking in the ring, so uh, I'll leave the talking to me. Then. So all the best. Just, be, just before we go, and uh, Bernard and his team. Uh, Come on. Just want to tell you, you know, on the night, the support, the most of the support in this arena is going to be a game for the Brits. There's a lot of, a lot of Brits coming out. Are the Americans going to come out for their man? Because we're here. We're here. We've brought nearly 9,000 people, and there's probably more on the way. So are the Americans going to come out and get behind him? Because you know, otherwise, he's going to get drowned out. There'll be no one there. They'll just, just be cheering Joe Kowzak. So come out. You're going to support your man and, and get behind him. <laughs> And, and, well, we just hope you, you, you know, you know you'd be scared, I'm telling you. We want to see you. You tell us you're a legend. I want to see these fans come out and prove you're right. I had 20,000 Puerto Ricans in 2001. Right, well, let's see where they are on Saturday. We need them on Saturday. Be I had Saturday. another 22,000 in Quito, Ecuador, fighting Segundo Mercado. But we're in your own town and they're not coming out for you. We want the Americans out for you. You better thank God. We should have put the final in Ecuador. You better thank God you're in there. <laughs> Well, the Americans will come and they will come and support these legendary fighters and this legendary fight. I have no doubt about that. But for those uh, who didn't understand what Enzo Kalzaki was saying, let me translate it quickly. He said, he said that he knows it's a tough fight, but he knows that Bernard is going to win. So, uh, <laughs> um, on another note, that when uh, Antonio Tarver gave uh, Bernard the wheelchair, he brought him luck. And I think you're going to see the odds change now because he got another gift. Uh, and uh, I don't know what he's going to use it for uh, after the fight, but uh, you know, I'm sure he's going to come up with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, having said that, I'd like to uh, introduce now uh, Team Hopkins, indeed, like an all star lineup, an amazing team. Uh, led by Mackie Shieldstorm, who really is a legendary fitness, strength, and conditioning trainer, who, if I may point out, a fighter has never lost. The fighters he trained, they have never lost a fight. And I applause to Mackie again for your effort, everything you have done. Uh, amazing, amazing. Uh, who has been now with Art for several fights. Uh, we have uh, Nassim Richardson, brother Nassim, who has been for many, many years uh, with Bernard. He's a tech opponent, he's a master at that, and I'd like to ask uh, Nassim. Assalamu alaikum. I'd like to thank everybody for coming. For, for Team Kawasaki coming across the pond, as you call it, to perform here and, and to deliver fights for him to come to the United States. And Kazai said it took him 11 years. <laughs> you know, but, but he's here now, and we welcome him with open arms. And, 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 and Saturday, you're going to see a great performance. I lead my opponent into how he should, how he should fight and where he should be. 
if Dan is a legend, he's going to do what legends do. He, you know, he wasn't penciled in. You watch his performances over the years. And in this particular camp, I took on a position with the assistance of Red Freddie Roach and John David Jackson. I was able to sit back and actually observe Bernard Hopkins. Because as you see fighters get older, a lot of times trainers can't see if they're starting to slip because you're so involved. But by me having the assistance of two of the greatest trainers in the game, I was able to sit back and there was kinks in the arm. I was able to sit back and see if there's something wrong that I could say, but no, and I see you don't do this as much as you used to or you running like you used to. And there were no kinks in his armor. And I was proud to say that even as a coach and as one of his assistants, the rest of Bernard Hopkins and his diligence and his consistency over the years as an athlete. But right now, like I said, come the 19th, I think the world is going to be surprised those who don't know him. Those of us that know him will be proud. We won't be surprised. But see, over here, we realize that you can't be judged on activity and action. You have to be judged on accuracy. So uh, now we hear a lot about how many punches are thrown, and, and there's not a lot done about how many punches are landed. But with Bernard how see punches landed. The men who are claimed to be the victor over him going straight to the hospital after the fight. You've seen him fight opponents, and they've never stepped in the ring again. And no one who's ever looked the same after they fought Bernard Hopkins. You've seen guys labeled champions, and you've never got a good fight out of them after they battled this man. Bernard Hopkins is an exceptional athlete, and as he always says, we have to enjoy him while he's here. But the 19th, I think you're going to see an outstanding performance. And we appreciate you. Thank you for your time and your patience. trainer, uh, which really doesn't need much introduction. He's known all over the world, one of the most legendary trainers of our time. And that, of course, is Freddie Roach. Uh, thank you, Richard. Um, we had a great training camp. Um, we really, um, the three, the four of us actually with Maggie involved, um, you know, we don't have egos, none of us, we all work together as a team and um, we came up with a strategy and um, I, Bernard is in great shape for this fight and I'm really happy to be part of this, this crew because I'm going to be proud of him on Saturday because he's going to have a hell of a fight and uh, we'll see you all there. Thank you. Some people have said it's not about England and the U.S., so it's not about this or that, but yes, it is. It is about England versus the U.S., or the U.S. versus England. And you see it here with the large press contingent from England and the Americans, and it is. And right now the U.S. is up with Floyd Mayweather beating Ricky Hatton. So let's see if the U.S. can tie, if, the, if England can tie it up. So, um, you know, I really, well, I really have my doubts because he's a three to one underdog. A three to one underdog. This is what he lives for. This is when he is at his best. And you know, with Pat work, he's not going to win Joe Calzaghe. It's going to take more to beat this man. He has gone through so much. He is a legend. He has earned his spot. And I'm asking the American public, come here, support this great, great fighter. He's 43 years old. It's maybe going to be one of his last few fights. And you want to be there. You want to witness this exceptional athlete while he's still fighting. Be there. Be part of it and support the U.S. Be there. He is with the record of 48 and 4 champion 20 times 20 title defenses one of the greatest champions ever i really don't need to tell you who bernard hopkins is but bernard hopkins is as well an exceptional human human being and he really has become one of my closest friends and i am proud to call him my friend and my partner at golden boy i'm pleased a big welcome now for the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world bernard the executioner hopkins yeah. First, I'd like to uh, acknowledge a, a heavyweight champion that's out there that brought Sanity to the heavyweight division, my man Sam Peach. Sam Peach, what's up, man? Well, um, yeah, I decided to seem regular now, you know, 20 